Hey guys, what's going on? CJ here for another video. So this is going to be a ghost story time. Um, with that, I found these stories off Reddit, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. The truth. When the pandemic first struck, me and my brother spent most of our time at our mom's house, literally every single day. I slept in the back of the house with my daughter, which is the last bedroom, and my brother slept in the front bedroom. That was closest to the kitchen and living room. What house my sister and mom were in the middle bedrooms, still just trying to stay safe. Each night, one of us would have to go through the house to make sure that the doors were locked up and spray Lysol. We rotated. One night on my brother's day, he did the routine and decided to stay up late watching TV but ended up falling asleep on the sofa. He woke up to a woman dressed in a white dress walking down the stairs and hallway, which really scared him. She did this everything to him. His whole stay was from pushing him and walking up and down the stairs at night. Basically, as long as you don't stay in the living room at night, she won't bother you. My mom has saw plenty of her, and she gives the dirtiest looks so when she's upset about something in the afterlife. I wish I could disclose that. I, I don't think that's true. I think this is fake, but I think it's a possibility it's true, but I have no idea if it's saying it's true or not false. It is a Reddit post, so take that as you will. Um, on to the next one. I think something evil is following my ex-roommate. So I've told this story to a handful of people, and it's still kind of shocking to me that I experienced this. So this is my first attempt at writing the story down. After what we experienced, we became closer because we went through it together. I guess it's kind of a like a trauma bond. So we begin to spend more time together. Time passes and I begin sensing something supernatural about her. She began to show me her different personalities and at times her tone and her voice would drastically change too. It was kind of strange but it didn't seem to scare me because I have a solid spiritual foundation and felt protected. She was just a very intense person to be around, and she would even tell me she heard voices, and she was able to do supernatural things. I honestly didn't believe her, and even telling me she heard voices was able to do supernatural things, I guess didn't believe her, and thought she was just some kind of psychosis, or had schizophrenic, didn't believe her and thought she was some kind of psychosis or schizophrenical. I still lent a hand out for support towards her because I felt bad for her. She also always made it clear that she felt presence around her. One day she was sitting on my bed in a manic episode that she would regularly get into and she screamed, I am God and the lights in my room turned off. I knew instantly that whatever just happened was evil. The same night I went to sleep terrified and exhausted from being around her energy. I woke up the next morning to see the bundle of sage I lay on the table on the floor. My bedroom rug has about two inch deep hole with from sage burning through it. I was in shock. How could the sage be flung to the ground like that on the fire? It didn't make any logical sense, and I realized my apartment could have caught on fire while I was sleeping. I almost stopped being her friend that day, but the next day she begged me to see and told me how grateful she was for me being around her. Again, I feel bad for her. A few months passed, and I experienced a few other things. Being around her, like suddenly being able to hear people's angry thoughts around me, even though they're, they were, weren't talking. Strangely, their physical actions reflected what I was hearing. I really thought I was going to be crazy. I still kept being around her because it appeared that her energy was calling me down things and were looking better for her. But I should have known. All this led up to the experience I've almost always been perplexed by. We eventually decided to move in with each other. Worst idea ever, lol. I began to feel a presence in my apartment, and it wasn't a happy one. I began feeling uncomfortable alone, and when I would express to her how I was feeling, she would reassure me that I wasn't alone, and she'd always felt the same. That didn't make me feel any better, but at least I knew I wasn't alone. 
One day we had to come home from a party and we went to our rooms to sleep. I was in a bed relaxing, drifting asleep, when my roommate's voice began to fill the room. I don't know if the voice was actually in my room or it was in my head, but I remember being confused and thinking, why can I hear so loud? What the heck? Then all of a sudden, her voice changed in this nasty, scary, screeching sound that I immediately knew was a demon. While in it was happening, I remember doing some of my mental defense against it. After a few minutes, it suddenly stopped. It was so surreal. I stopped paying attention and relying and just replaying what happened over and over again. It was like a demon was making her voice to reel in me. And it was, and I realized I was actually listening to it. It began screeching, speaking in language I could understand. We eventually went our separate ways. She was constantly having unexplainable bad things happen to her, and she even turned on me and went as far as to tell me that I ruined her life and brought terrible things upon her, which I knew wasn't true. It was just evil slash guilt speaking. Off. She did some other really horrible things that hurt me, but I truly believe the demon's negative energy that was making her snap towards everyone that she cared for. She did that to everyone in her life that expressed love to her. I always sensed she was going through an intense internal batter battle within her, and at times the evil would win. Since exiting my life, I haven't experienced the negative I felt around her. Stop feeling scared and stop hearing voices. I'm curious if anyone else has ever lived or been around someone that has a negative attachment and if it has affected them in the way that affected me. So interesting that I was able to tap into my psychic ability of being around her. I may just be sensitive to it since I experienced paranormal events since I've been a child. With that, that's the whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know my vo videos have gotten a lot shorter than what they have been. I hope you guys had a great day and enjoy the rest of your day. The train apparently hit the car so hard that some of the kids or parts of them were thrown several meters away. The car was pushed along the tracks for some distance and there were no survivors. I remember the hair on my arms and neck standing on the end as my mom told me and I asked her, not really sure if I wanted to know what time this all happened and she said sometime around midnight. She added that it's not reported to the police for several hours. After I happened, I remember feeling sick to my stomach, thinking I had potentially driven through the bloody remains of those kids from the school. I of course called my called and told my friends, Misery Loves Company. We both thought it was just too coincidental for those two things to happen, just mirrors apart and not be in actuality one and the same. The truth.